we were a burgeoning society, suddenly everybody realized that the owner's manual said, this is all ours, keep going west. Land hunger becomes a fever, even for the American government. 1803, 27 years after American claims independence, the single largest real estate deal in history. President Thomas Jefferson buys the vast Louisiana territories from Napoleon. Half a billion acres for three cents an acre. Just as America will one day go to the moon, now an adventure into this unknown. May 1804, a presidential aide and a mapping expert head out on a mapping expedition. Meriwether Lewis and William Clark's journey is about to become one of the most epic American stories of survival. The Rockies, unknown, mythical, the legendary woolly mammoth is even said to have walked here. Treacherous, too. No one expects the Rockies to be a combination of 90 different mountain ranges over 3,000 miles long. They're caught in a death trap. After two weeks, starvation sets in. They eat any plants they can find. Next they eat their horses. The expedition is given up as dead. But they survive. And they owe their survival to a 16-year-old Native American girl. Sacagawea of the Shoshone Nation. Guide them, find them wild food, and even save their thousand-word journals from an overturned canoe. In 1805, Lewis and Clark have the Pacific Ocean in view. They are the first new Americans to reach the Pacific Ocean overland. The travels of Lewis and Clark not only discover over 300 new species of animals, and for help further science, but they also help foster a new adventurous spirit in America that will have lasting impacts on future explorers. America now expands from the east to the west. The pioneering spirit of Americans has busted the country wide open. Lewis and Clark's heroic expedition through the Rockies uncovers a path to the West's most valuable commodity, beaver. On the frontier, beaver pelts were used as hard currency. Their pelts are even traded by Native Americans for guns, knives, and salt, and they are a high fashion luxury for the rich. Beavers have been hunted nearly to extinction in Europe, but here, they're everywhere millions of them. The cold water of the Rockies makes the beaver fur thicker, warmer, and more expensive than fur in other places. New iron traps from New York foundries make trapping even easier. Baited with the beaver's own scent gland, they are drawn to their death. October 1823 300 eager trappers roam the Rockies, searching for their fortune. One in five won't make it out alive. Trapping is harsh, hungry work. 6,000 calories a day are needed to keep up with the extreme conditions. Three times what we eat today. Jedediah Smith is the greatest hunter of all. He is only 24 years old and walks over a thousand miles in the Rockies each year, traps 600 pelts a season, three years pay back east. Jedediah Smith is a devout Christian. He doesn't drink, 
he doesn't smoke. Bible and gun are constant companions of his. He's smart and works with the Native Americans. The Crow show him ancient shortcuts, sell him horses, and even nurture his sick men. For thousands of years, the tribes of North America have adapted themselves to live in any condition, from arid plain to harsh mountain paths. Jedediah Smith uses their knowledge and his skill to open up the West to vast fur profits. Jedediah Smith will eventually die a rich man. But today, he's not the hunter. He's the hunted. After only two weeks rest, Jedediah Smith pushes on. This is the new character of America. Frontier grit. Rugged individualism. Survival. And something else survives too. The trails Jedediah Smith blazes become settler trails, wagon trains, and roads. And today, Interstate 15. And Americans follow Jedediah's tracks west in a tidal wave of hope.